Willa Cather was born in Winchester, Virginia on December 7, 1873, and died on April 24, 1947, in New York City. She was the first of Charles Fatigue and Mary Virginia Boak. Her father moved the family to Red Cloud, Nebraska, when Cather was nine years old, where he ran a farm loan business. Although Cather was educated mainly by her mother, she had enough knowledge of English literature and Latin to do excellent work at the University of Nebraska. At this time, she began interested in a career in journalism. She began working as a drama critic for newspapers in Lincoln, Nebraska while still in school. After receiving a degree in 1895, she moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and found employment as an editor, drama critic, and high school teacher. One of Cather's major novels was O Pioneers. She wrote this in 1913. This was the book I read. It is broken into five parts. Part 1, The Wild Land. Part 2, Neighboring Fields. Part 3, Winter Memories. And Part 4, The White Mulberry Tree. And Part 5, Alexandra. Cather at last discovered her subject matter. This tale of Alexandra Bergson, daughter of Swedish settlers whose devotion to the land and to her younger brother interferes with her own chance of happiness. My Antonia. The main part of the story is Jim Burden's memoir, narrated in first person from the perspective of an older man looking back on his childhood. Jim, who is the main character, is an orphan who was sent to live with his grandparents on their farm in the country, just outside the town of Black Hawk, Nebraska. He meets the Shermans, which are their neighbors, who have come to Nebraska at the same time. He has introduced their oldest, Antonia, who is Jim, who, who Jim has an extremely close loving relationship with. With, but their friendship is tested by the different paths their lives take them down as Jim acquires an education while Antonia is forced to work to help support their, her family. As a secondary conflict, Jim, a middle-class age lawyer, looks back longly toward his childhood with Antonia but feels he has lost it forever.